One of the things that I want you to do with your slideshow is I'd like you to make give five slides custom animation. And uh, on the first four slides, I want you to limit it to one type of custom animation. And the last one, you can mix it up if you'd like. But uh, let's begin with the first type of custom animation that we're going to do. Now, if you notice here that up on the tabs, there's animation tab. Normally, you're on the home tab, so you have to click on the animation tab. And you'll see up here that all of these tabs are grayed out. That's because, let me close the animation pane, that's because uh, nothing has been selected. In order for you to animate something, you actually have to select it. Now, in this particular slide, there are three objects that we can select. There's the image, there's the text, and there, or the title, and then the, uh, the content. And so each of these three things, here, let me highlight them all. If you put an imaginary uh, box around them all, it selects them all. So you can see one, one, two, three. Okay, well, there's a fourth object in here, but there's nothing in it. So what we want to do here is we want to add an entrance. So let's click on the title first. And if we look up here, all of a sudden when I clicked on it, notice if I click off, it grays. If I click on something, it, uh, open, it turns on the animation choices. Now, there are four kinds of uh, custom animation here. So if you look there, entrances, which is what we're going to talk about today, emphasis, exits and motion paths and if I hover over these things you can see oops you can't see it it's in the background but if I hover the it will actually show you what they do but unfortunately we can't see it because it's behind here uh, so let's uh, let's get started so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to talk about entrances now an entrance is something that you use when you want something to appear at your command and this is not something you do for random reasons. This is something that you do because you want to make an impression on people. You want it, It's for a reason. Random animation is not that interesting, and I see a lot of adults doing it, and it's very annoying. Now, we can use these up here, and you can kind of see in the background where something's happening over here on the right. But if I go down here to more entrance effects, it has all of these up here plus some more that we don't have. So let's move over here and take a look. All right, so if I click on these, you can see it, see what happens. That's called peek in, and this is under under basic. So basic is things like checkerboard, which I don't find very interesting. Split, again, not very interesting. And then you get into subtle. I like subtle. Fade is fade is okay, where it just kind of fades in. Uh, zoom, one of my favorites. Uh, but then you get to moderate, basic zoom, uh, center revolve. Okay, I don't know why they have that one. Uh, rise up, comes from the bottom, and so forth. And then you get into exciting, spiral, okay, pinwheel, and so forth. And you can try these out. They're, they're a lot of fun. So if we want to choose something, all we do is click on it. So I'll choose pinwheel, okay. Kind of random, not very, I, I don't know, I, I personally wouldn't choose this, so why don't I choose something a little bit better. No, the printer just went off. Okay, so let me just choose, let's see, boomerang, meh. Okay, I'm just gonna do zoom. There we go. Okay, now the other thing that you need to see is, I'm gonna move this over here, is something called the animation pane. And you can see it, it's right up here. Oops, I gotta say okay, hold on. So zoom. And the animation pane shows you the animation that's on your slide. If there was no animation on my slide, it, there'd be nothing up here. And you can see right here it says number one, and over here it says number one, because that's the first thing. Now you're going to see what's going to happen as I add animation. Let's have some fun. Let's go to the uh, the image now. And if I go to the image, you can see again, as I was talking about before, if I hover over these things right here, I can get some animation. Now again, you know, I personally like this one, this uh, zoom one. You could put swivel up there, but what's the point of putting swivel up there? Uh, aside from it, be, it looking cool for the first time, but if it's pointless animation, I really recommend that you don't do it. Uh, consider your audience. Why are you why are you making his head swivel? Uh, so if you just want to introduce something, your best bet is something simple, something that just happens. Fly in is a good one. Float in is not bad, and so forth. I happen to like this one, so I'm going to just click on 
this one I'll double click on it to select it. Now notice now that I have two things in my animation pane. I have title and I have the picture. So if I go ahead and it says number one and number two and they're both, I'll, I'll get to this in a second, on click. So notice that I haven't done anything with the other two so they're going to appear right away because I haven't told them not to appear or to make an, a dramatic entrance. So when I click first time there's the title and if I click the second time there is my picture. Now let's get to these other ones. Alright now there are two lines right here and if I just click on the border I can select them both or if I want I can just choose one at a time. If I click right here it's only going to do that one. I have to click right here it's going to do that one but since they're both the sort of the same thing I don't want them having different animations. So I'm going to choose uh, let's see wipe. I like wipe. It's it's uh, pretty simple. And so now, if you'll notice, if we go over here, you'll notice that there are now one, two, three, oh, look, there's this double arrow here. Click to expand contents, four. There are four things in my image, or excuse me, in my slide, and you can see how they work here. One, two, three, four. Now, the reason they're one, two, three, and four is because I have them coming in as on click. In other words, each one of them has to wait for me to click the mouse. If I wanted, for example, the title Ibn Battuta to come in with the uh, with the picture at the same time and then have John Student period 2A come separately, what I can do is one of two things. Uh, the easiest thing to do would be start with previous. Now, again, I'm selecting only number two and I'm going here to start with previous. Now watch what happens over here um, to number two when I click here start with previous it becomes number one so now I have two ones this doesn't say one but it says one over here one one two and three that's because as soon as I click not only is the title going to pop but so is the picture so let's try that out so nothing happens till I click because it's waiting for me to click now I click once both the title and the uh, picture appear and then if I click again three, or excuse me, two in this case, three. Okay, now if I want those two to pop at the same time, I just go down here to period two, and I say with previous on that. So now I have two things happening, one, two. So let's, uh, let's watch this happen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the preview. Here we go, one and two. And so I can decide when these things happen and in, in, in what order and how. All right, so let's, Escape and let's try that out.